Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lion's Table. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's take a moment to enter into the presence of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let God word, God's word, which is truth, fill us and give us strength. Let us contemplate his great love for us, his sacrifice on the cross, his mercy, grace, and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the word who was at the beginning, was with God, and is God. Dear brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, we are so happy for you to join us in this ark of God's word. For faith comes by hearing God's word. If anyone keeps his word, the love of God has been truly perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. 1 John 2 verse 5. We know there is no other God. Jesus Christ is the way the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. Are any of you out there hungry or thirsty? Come, all you who are thirsty. Come to the waters, and you without money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on that which is not bread, and your labor on that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me. And eat what is good, and your soul will delight in the richest of foods. Isaiah 55, verses 1 and 2. And Matthew 5, verse 6 says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. John 4, verse 14. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will be come in him a fount or fountain of water springing up to eternal life and john 7:37 on the last day and greatest day of the feast jesus stood up and called out in a lo loud voice if anyone is thirsty let him come to me and drink John 7, verse 38 says, Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from him. Know that God is never far from you if you just reach out to him. It may seem that he's far from you, but he's not. He is always there, waiting for you as, as was the father of the prodigal son. Remember, upon the son's return, a feast was prepared. So step out in faith, and you will be blessed. Give thanks and praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, reserved in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power for the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In, in this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in various trials, so that the proven character of your faith, which is more precious than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an inexpressible and glorious joy now that you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who foretold the grace to come to you searched and investigated carefully trying to determine the time and setting to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the glories to follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves, but you, when they foretold the things now announced by those who preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels long to look into these things. And that was a reading from James 6, verses 3 through 12. Thanks be to God, who gives us the victory 
through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. And we ask all of you to have a safe and blessed Thanksgiving. And remember to give thanks and glory to God every day. And we have a grateful heart in all things through Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us for this special Thanksgiving Day message. And we invite you to join us again next time.